to me younger energy is important because people who have that learn the fastest they are eager for information for knowledge to us adaptability um you know is very important because the markets will change on you yeah. you will constantly end up in a point where you have to evolve to a different level in two or three years time and figure out where you should head you have to be able to make bets the third one is more of a cliche i'm afraid but it's vital which is just brightness okay. you've got to be bright yeah. you've got to have common sense practical wisdom as i call it because you can have a lot of theoretical skills you can be very good academically but unless you can translate that into practical hands on experience on the ground mm -hmm. it's actually hard to go to the next step because mm -hmm. you're not able to translate your ideas you're not able to translate strategy into execution mm -hmm. and businesses i always believe are you know virtually 80 to 90% execution and only 10 to 20% strategy i think we all make tremendous mistakes in hiring uh, i look for somebody who is going to show me that he and she really wants to do this has a fire in the belly for it is really interested in driving to the next level uh, is really going to work hard and really going to give it their best shot i look for people who perhaps can deal with failure um who have dealt with failure and learn how to come out of it and bounce back even stronger yeah. because that's a great learning i always probe to ask people what is the toughest time you've been through uh, mm -hmm. what were you able to what did you have to do during that tough time to adapt right. and i always think about that uh, initiative do you have do you think out of the box do you take the initiative show me have you done it in the past show me when you went out of your domain out of your area to do something different because you felt it was worth doing or you felt it was worth taking a risk mm -hmm. i was the beneficiary of one of the great companies of the world right mm -hmm. uh, g mm -hmm. which is known for leadership development around the world has produced sort of more fortune 50 or 100 ceos than anybody else so i was i was the beneficiary of that and so a lot of what i'm saying really comes out of that i think the ability to have a global mindset and constantly mm -hmm. raise the bar mm -hmm. raise the status quo and constantly search for a better answer is something all of us as leaders have to have internally mm -hmm. we have to constantly be willing to throw out what we learned learn something new okay. you know in our industry technology changes so fast mm -hmm. um you may as you grow older feel you know it all and that is a fatal mm -hmm. error I do think for young leaders I would I would say learn as much as you can go outside your domain go to external sources learn as much as you can Peter Drucker said it well you know the only leader is someone who has followers yeah. uh, that's the only definition he could find mm -hmm. so he found leaders who were reclusive who were popular who communicated well who were great strategists who were great executioners mm -hmm. and rarely all of them together that's true so find your own way find out what your strengths are and build on them